Hey guys, hope y'all all having a great day today. This is going to be posted along with our, kind of on our vlog series, but it's it's not going to show a whole lot of what's going on here. But I am inside today, what's going to be the storm shelter and fu future basement, which is a blessing. Lord, this is going to be a blessing. We already have a piece about us for the protection that it's going to provide for our family and our volunteers and the future campers here. But anyway... I, as I work, I commune with God. I I fellowship with Him. I pray for people. I, you know, I I can do all that while I work. I enjoy my work better when I do that because I'm working for the Lord and I like to spend my time with Him while I'm working. So, and I've been I've been praying for so many. You know, we all have people on our hearts, and that's a that's a burden that I I pray that continues to grow. I'll take that burden. I want to pray. I want to pray for you guys. I want. I want I want to pray for the lost especially, because you know, you get them to Jesus. Jesus will work all the details out. He'll iron the wrinkles out. That ain't my job. My job's just to just to let them know about the gospel. So while well, I'm out here working, I've had things on my mind, and people reach out to me. I mean, every day, you know. So yeah, I want to start by sharing the word of God with you, because that's where it all centers around is God and His Word. So we, one of my favorite writers in the Bible is Paul. He's just, if you know your Bible, you got to love Paul. Well, I'm going to go to Ephesians 2, 8 through uh, 10. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. See, there's a lot of a lot of people reach out to me seem to be confused and they think that salvation comes through good works or that by merit and they're gonna earn it and I mean they they talk about Jesus and they still I hear these this talk about works and I don't want anybody to be confused about what I'm doing what we're doing here, what you've seen us post in the last four years. We've done a lot of good works, what people may say, but I can promise you it ain't made a difference in salvation for us. The salvation, what Paul says here, for by grace you have been saved through faith and not of yourselves. There's nothing, nothing we can do. I don't want to stand before God on my own. I want Jesus there. Cause I have no faith in Sammy. I can promise you, I'll let you down. Without Christ, Sammy is no good. I was. A lot of you did some evil and vile things alongside of me, and a lot of you are the ones that are that that are having the issue here, understanding what's going on. Cause you you see the change in my life, but you don't see where the change came from. I'm afraid, and that's Christ. And what he says. You have been saved through faith. He's talking about Christians there. Saved through the faith in Jesus. Jesus is the only way. There's no other way. The Bible tells us that. There's, I mean, it, there's no other way. It ain't going to be your good works and your deeds. But then people get hung up with it. And the Bible says works. Well, yes. For we are his workmanship, and that's through Christ. Created in Jesus Christ. That's the creation that comes about with salvation. The new me that was created. Not the old Sammy. The new Sammy that was created. For good works. Well, that's for, for the work of Christ. See, I don't do this for me. This is not God's put put it on my heart to do these things. because, And not only does he put it, change your heart where your heart wants this. The word tells you, commands you to do these things. It commands you to love others. It commands you to serve others. And that, and you want to be like the guy that saved you, Jesus Christ. He served others. He served us all by dying on that cross in a way that nobody else could ever do. That's the guy I want to be like. Don't want to be like Sammy. I want to be like Jesus. And I hope and I pray that you see Jesus in my life because that's, that's the whole goal of me sharing anything that we do. It's not me boasting of my good works 
because my good works are meaningless if it's not coming through Christ. And everything that I do, do, all these good works, that's Christ working through. I'm the hands and feet of Jesus. That's, that's my goal. And this camp, everybody we've helped, whether it was working on their car, gas money, building them a new house, whatever it was, repairing their old house, whatever the deal was, it was done in the name of Christ, and God gets all the glory for all this. Not Sammy, not Charlie, not Eli, not Jace. It's not. We're just conduits that God works through, and our hearts are changed. He lives He lives in here. That's how big of a change it is. He comes and dwells inside. You call the Holy Spirit, part of the three-part Godhead. It's a wonderful thing, guys. Please. Y'all, I mean, I get the questions constantly. You know, I want what you have. What do I need to do? Uh, I see, I see I, you've inspired me. I want to help people. Well, if you don't have Christ, I, I first urge you to get to know your Savior. I urge you to have an intimate relationship with him. Give yourself over to him. When next time he calls upon that heart, don't deny him. I did several times, and I'm just grateful that he came calling again, and I didn't deny him the last time. And I pray, pray that you find him there. Don't look for Look for them anywhere in good works or anything that you'll do on this earth because you don't want to stand there long. Stand there with, with Jesus by your side on Judgment Day. And guess what? You get to live, even if it, everything goes wrong in life, in this worldly life, everything goes wrong and you in valley after valley after valley. Guess what? It's still an awesome life because you got Jesus to walk through it with you. I mean, it, you just... I urge you guys, my heart hurts for you if you're lost. And if you need somebody to talk to, reach out to me, message me, whatever you need to do. And I can, I can, I can go to God's word and tell you where you need to go, what you need to do. I love you. And I thank you all for your support. And we'll see you next time. <music>